What's up guys, I'm hanging out again with my good friend Richie from the Sonic Dad Labs. You might remember in a video where we got together and built this thing. This is a 25 millimeter cannon powered by alcohol and shoots at an impressive speed. So out of the blue one day, Richie says, I've just been playing around for fun and I made this little missile for the cannon. What do you think? And first of all, I love it because it's black and yellow. It's yes. totally my colors. <laughs> the second thing that went through my mind was some of your comments said, why don't you try making exploding ammunition? So I asked Richie, can we put some kind of a pin firing device in here that would hit a primer cap and make these things into impact sensitive exploding missiles? How do you actually design a missile like this, Richie? Well, I have a 3D CAD system. Basically, you know, I'll start with the bore of the barrel and go from there, uh, figure out the ratio I want for the length and the diameter. I actually looked at some mortar shell designs because I really like the shape, and uh, this is kind of fashioned after some of the mortar shells out there. So I think it looks pretty cool. So the primers are the little cups that go in the back of your bullets, and when the firing pin from the gun hit them, it causes an explosion to come out the other end, sending your bullet flying. Now when you add your primer, you want to add it with the inside of the cup facing inside the shell so that the flat end is sticking out. And that's so that when the nail hits it, it will fire inside the nose cone. We're going to use a bit of super glue around the base of this retainer, and that's going to help hold it in place in the nose cone. My fingers are going to stick together in a second. And we're going to use some activator here. This just helps the glue harden a little bit quicker. Now there's a couple ways we could go with this design, guys. We could take a primer cap, set it in the tip, and then insert our nail. And now we've basically got a glorified cap dart that'll go off with a tremendous amount of power. But for this project, we thought we'd take it up a notch by introducing a little bit of black powder. The way that Richie designed these nose cones is we can actually pack them up with about four to five grams of a black powder equivalent. Then we'll use a little bit of hot glue to form a bulkhead and put the tail fins in place. Once these things are put together, they're actually very, very safe. It's not until you add the nail to the tip that they become active and ready for use. This is a muzzle loading propellant, but it's still really fun to play with. A little craft foam divider will help separate the black powder from the hot glue. Makes it a little bit safer and just helps hold it in place. And then we just seal that thing up. Beautiful, that's beautiful. It looks like liquid glass. So there are two different variations that Richie's made. One is just the nose cone that we fill up with powder and then basically glue the tail into place. The second one here is a little bit different. It's got a chamber for the powder on the inside and then an outer chamber that we're going to fill up with baby powder. The idea is that when these things explode, it's going to spray powder everywhere and make a little bit more noticeable impact. We want to put the baby powder around first. I've got this little piece that goes in, keeps baby powder out of our powder chamber and then a funnel. Ha, you thought of everything. So I'm just using a little dowel to help consolidate this powder so I can get as much in as I can. Now on, on this design, the nose cone is really thin out here, so I'm actually going to put the glue around the center where it's thicker. Otherwise, the glue would melt the nose cone. And we'll stick that guy on there. There's nothing you can't do with a little bit of hot glue. You remember that Richie designed this barrel so that it just pops right off. And now you can take your ammunition, push it up into the barrel, and then it just slides right back into the ignition chamber. It's ready to go. So we've got our two variations set, the glue is hardening, so all you have to do is repeat that process now over and over and over again. Multiply by 30. Improvised party horns. So there you have it guys, with a little bit of time and with Richie's amazing brains, we've just put together a whole arsenal of these little exploding missiles, which hopefully will go off on impact. Unfortunately, we can't test them out right now because we're at the golf course. We need to head out deep into the desert because we're going to make about 30 more of these things and test them all out. So you'll see that in the next video. In the meantime, go over to the Sonic Dad channel. They've got a smaller version of this cannon that will shoot marshmallows, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can go and download the PDF for free. The Sonic Dad team has amazing ideas, and they're all very kid-friendly. So go check them out, sonicdad.com. Thank you, Grant. It was fun doing this project with you. Yes, it was. Yeah! Cheers. And they go off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>